The exciting thing from an IAB perspective is that by the IAB taking leadership in mobile, it's, it's sending a resounding message to the community that the, the mobile buy, the, 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 the mobile buy is now relevant as a digital buy. And, and the big thing is, historically, mobile has been somewhat compartmentalized. So you have um, great organizations trying to drive mobile and, and terrific momentum in the marketplace. But to make it a mainstream buy, you have to talk about it as an extension of business as usual. Everybody wants to come in and learn a new media. When you can come in as the IAB and talk to digital planners, talk to digital buyers, and say, you know what, you've been buying in a certain way with certain measurability standards, uh, with certain sort of audience metrics. Well, we're going to extend that to mobile. There are going to be certain idiosyncrasies. There are going to be things that make mobile fantastic and, and a little bit of a different buy. But at least you have uh, it as an extension of business as usual. I think, I think that's so important for the market. And that's what we're doing with the, with the mobile committee um, is uh, we're, we're trying to contextualize it as a, a piece of that larger digital click. And, and not only there, we're, we're not only talking about um, the, 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 uh, the impression, uh, we're also talking about now uh, the, the messaging component of, of mobile and also how it impacts traditional media because mobile, unlike um, online, enables the buyer to actually extend it into, into, onto the street. And so, so I have lots of elements here that are exciting and the, the most tangible one is that we're putting in the context of business as usual. Tell me about measurement, because I know you're very excited about what's going on in the global yeah. measurement of that. Yeah, one. no, absolutely. I, 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 again, getting back to that whole thing of taking mobile seriously is a big step for, for the marketplace. Being mobile is a very measurable medium. But in, until somebody actually sort of knocks on the door and says, hey guys, here's it, um, it people are all going to be all over the place as far as metrics. And um, just like on the IAB, uh, stood up and said, you know what, we're going to standardize the way that uh, the buyer buys uh, online and measures online. The same, uh, the same is going to hold for mobile. And so the, the MMA, uh, the Mobile Marketing Institute, and now uh, yeah. and it, both in their own worlds had been grappling with this whole idea of measurement, are now going to work together. And it's going to be so much more powerful having the two major organizations doing this um, a joint initiative. And so we're going to come up with measurable um, uh, you know, standards around, again, display and uh, messaging. And of course, that's going to be the first of probably a number of documents that we're going to be able to, to work on. But I think that's the, the, um, the resounding call to the market that Mombas arrive, take it seriously, it's measurable, it's accountable, it's ordered. Who's measuring, who's um, using mobile to build brands online successfully right now? Who's doing it great? Yeah, from a, from a mobile perspective? Yes. So, look, any, any brand that commits to mobile as a channel and less of as uh, a, a campaign um, is going to be able to, look, first ra uh, time round may stub their toe a little bit, there's a learning involved, and ultimately refine mobile as a way of engaging with their audience. The ones that do it well are the ones that commit to it long term. So, of course, icon brands like Coca-Cola, uh, we, we have a number of brands that present it today all the way from you know, Dockers to uh, Taco Bell are brands that are starting to get into it. And you know what? They are going to experiment, they're going to learn, and ultimately they're going to find their place in the value chain um, of the 360 buy. You know, where does mobile work well? Those are the brands that will succeed, and they may not succeed out of the gate, but long term, they're going to build a strategy which will work for them. And no brand's going to be the same. They have different demo targets, they have different objectives, but they, they have to commit to a media that's going to transcend um, you know, to transcend the 360 buy, it's going to touch it across multiple media touch points and drive more ROI for the traditional media. So, um, all the way from going out and learning how to buy media effectively uh, to post click conversion, are all things that brands have to experiment with. So, there isn't one brand that, that, that I would say uh, has, has nailed it, go and look at them and learn. But the brands that, that are, 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 are doing well have committed to it as a channel, and I think that's the, 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 the license to take away from, from the marketplace right now. 
how do you think the buyer's guide is going to be received in the marketplace? Well, I think, you know, what, what's exciting about the buyer's guide is that it's not an educational piece. It, it's not, uh, again, uh, hey, we have to educate the marketplace. We, you know, this is, these are the trends. Here are the stats. It's all about, hey, mobile's arrived. Okay, here's a resource. Go out and find your consumer. And so it's not looking, it's not, it's not looking at mobile for mobile's sake. It's saying, look, I think we've all agreed that, that mobile's got to the point where we're taking it seriously. Here's a guide now to help you with your buy. How do you, you know, what is the, 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 the ad type that you should look for? Where should you buy? You know, how should you measure your buy? These are all things that for, for somebody who's on the, you know, maybe in the digital realm, still is a little intimidated with mobile. If we can make it a little easier, you know, the, the keywords here are obviously the team business as usual. If we can extend what they know now to make it easier for them to spend a few bucks on the mobile site, stop learning, that's a huge success. So it's actually formatted as a takeaway by uh, a buyer's guide that you can actually put in your pocket, put in your front uh, the, the drawer in, in your desktop and refer to on an ongoing basis. So we're really excited about that. What's the next bright, shiny object in the mobile space that you're excited for and you can't wait to implement? I don't like bright, shiny objects. Oh, no. No, because bright, shiny objects are all future speak. What I'm excited about is the stuff that has the largest install base may not be bright and shiny because it's well-worn. You want to look at the largest install base, the stuff that works, the stuff that the consumer is looking at. There are many things out there that you know are great and you should experiment with, but I think mobile has reached the point where you don't want to look for fun things to do. You want to look at things that work. And uh, that's utility. utility. You want to look at utility, and that's why going out and buying from you know the, the weather network or from you know Quattro or Jump Tap are good things to do. Do a buy, learn how it works, and then and, and make it suit your brand of just those are not necessarily bright, shiny objects. They are extension, again, of what you're doing on the digital side. But they work, and that's what counts.